Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. You clicked on Gotham Cenobites, I'm Terry. I'm Lindsay. <laughs> Today we're doing another uh, Hellraiser throwback review uh, for the piece in between us, the uh, Hollywood Collectibles Group Pinhead Bust. <laughs> We've had this one for a while. Yeah, it was back when I didn't think we could afford certain things, and then I saw this, and of course, you know, still $700 was a, a pipe dream back then, but I did it. <laughs> so I actually got him straight from Hollywood Collectibles website, and he's the exclusive, which um, has the brass pins, because um, uh, they're brass in the movies, Right. But, um, they come off as silver on film. So the 150 that I have has brass pins, and the other 500 and the regular have silver pins. But um, I know I usually start these throwbacks by myself, giving you all the specs and artists. I've searched all day. I can't find nothing from this piece. The only thing that I could find is that it's fiberglass, <laughs> so it's really lightweight. Very lightweight. Um, but on their on their site, it just says fiberglass and um, other materials. I think, yeah. Which I guess they have the brass pins and the hooks, but yeah, he's, he's fiberglass. So, so what is your overall thoughts? I mean, when you first got him, and then now that you've seen him up close and personal today after. After, okay. after a dusting. Yeah. <laughs> um, I remember when we first got him all those years ago, I was really, really impressed with uh, with with him. He's, I thought he was kind of... I mean, yeah, I thought he was a little scary. I, he was badass. I'm like, damn, it looks real. Um, just because of... <laughs> many moons ago, long, long time ago, I bought him a um, life-size oh. pinhead animatronic. <laughs> It looked terrible, but I didn't care. I loved it. I thought it was the shit. Just the but the, I know, it makes <laughs> me sad. It it just can't. No comparison. This one is way better than that thing. If it, you saw the face, yikes! It is supposed to be Doug, so that's the only two things I found on their site. It's fiberglass, and it was supposed. It's supposed to be Doug, which. I, well, he's up there. I don't really it see so much, but down here when you're like face to nose to nose with him, and you can kind of see it. I definitely think but. he looks like Doug. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, L L Doug's face changes quite a bit, like makeup wise, and the yeah, cake, and that to me sort of slightly distorts his face, but it still looks like Doug. Yeah. So, uh, yes. Yeah, so what are your? Oh yeah, sorry. Um, so now I am. Well, after all the statues that have come in, and I could actually see, like, what the hell a really well-done paint job looks like. This guy is definitely lacking. Um, yes. Which is kind of sad, because there's they only made so many. You figure they would have taken their time on this one. You can definitely see where the shading, the contouring can do uh, some work. I've seen somebody in one of the statue groups had him repainted. And oh. um, it looks great, but I just... I mean, to me, I think he does the job. Um, I would never want to spend any extra money on him. I mean, he's up top. He, he looks good. He does. But, I mean, comparing him in person to the to the promo pictures, he, you can definitely, definitely see... The differences. And like, like she was saying, the shading in the eyes and yeah, other, mm -hmm. other stuff. Yeah, the blood, the, the lining. Yeah, there's definitely a difference between the two. I agree. So yeah, I mean, so honestly, I mean, this one's pretty, pretty simple. Um, I mean, I don't, I really can't say too many dislikes. I mean, it's a pinhead bust. Other than you know, the paint doesn't really match up, but other, other than that, I mean, it's a great piece to have in your collection if you're a Hellraiser is. collector. And usually, we also scour the internet, but I've also been on eBay. I've been on a bunch of other sites. I haven't checked Facebook Marketplace. But I cannot find anybody selling either version. Because I was going to... Usually I like to tell you what he's going for now. But I, I can't find him on eBay. So so nobody nobody is selling it. <laughs> so. So. Hmm. so. 
Uh, maybe one day we'll, we'll be the first one. Mm. Well, you wouldn't want to see a one-third pinhead in, in his place. Oh no, hell no! <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, so that's really all I can think of to say about it. Do you have any closing thoughts? No, that it's pretty much it. I mean, for him being your only bust, I think it makes sense because you know you're such a Hellraiser fan. It makes sense. I'm I'm glad if... you have him. I don't think he should go anywhere unless you decide to get rid of all of it. The Hellraiser, because I know the other stuff isn't going anywhere. Oh, come on, I mean, I. But then I your just, Cenobites, your whole shtick I don't that's gone. <laughs> see me making enough money off of it to see it go away. So. Yeah. Plus, well, every time I've asked you, well, maybe I should sell this. You're like, no. I'm like. Okay. <laughs> right. But uh, so yeah, I don't think I'll make enough money off of it to sell it. But if we had more room. Maybe I'll get another, another bus. bus. Mm -hmm. You can't, can't see, see a Batman Hill bus. bus. No. 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 Well, nobody's, nobody's made, made one, one yet. yet. I mean, I mean maybe. maybe. Maybe when they put him in a movie, Mr. James Gunn. Anyways. <laughs> so, um, as always, um, following us, we're going to see the spin around uh, specs. And then she once again has filmed um, all the close ups for you. And uh, that has one to wrap it up. You're not going to see us again because, I mean, we, there's pretty much... There's nothing else to say and there's nothing else on the site and nobody is selling him. So. Well, thanks for having me back. <laughs> no problem. And you're going to see your face a lot more in the future. I mean, summertime's coming and, well, it's here. And I'm busy as crap. I'm about to work another 12-day stretch. But... I don't have another on call for a few months. So you're going to see us back together doing all the Prime 1 um, metal versus XM metal. So she's going to be back. And don't forget, um, if you want to like the video and subscribe, because we are doing a 500 subscriber giveaway. Me and Steve from Casual Nerd Problems. 500 subscribers. So you're going to get one winner is going to get five books. Cool. So uh, subscribe to the channel. Go give Steve at Casual Nerd Problems a uh, subscribe too. And uh, yeah, stick around for that. And I uh, appreciate everybody watching. Everyone that makes it to the end of these things, we appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. And as always, you'll see us back soon and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah. Bye.